We are Aquaculture Incorporated, also known as ACI Hydroponics. We have an 800 number and a 400 number, 480 number that you can call us at. We have been manufacturing hydroponics since 1985. We make only the best. We use Visa and MasterCard for your convenience. We make low maintenance for your ease of use. Low cost to save you money and to make you money. The most user-friendly equipment you can buy. Just give us a call and give it a try. Per square foot, we offer you high production with maximum yield. What you need for a hyperponic garden is a hydroponic garden, a light, a mover, and a plant food. That's the whole hyperponic system. Buy all four and get a TDS pan free with your order now. This is a complete system. We're open Monday through Saturday in Tempe, Arizona. Call the 800 number and talk to a real person. We will match your light to your garden. We'll show you the gardens in the video. Compare the best plant food and try it. We'll show you that in the video. Call the 800 number for information or for an order. We also have the email address where you can get a hold of us on email. Now we're going to show you the hyperponic systems. Hyperponics is making all the main elements work at their maximum. The main elements are hydroponic system, plant food, lights, light movers, and CO2 systems. Now, hyperponics will achieve maximum growth with minimum cost and energy. This will save you money. This will generate money in your pocket. That's what you want to do is create more money in your pocket. Here is the one largest system that we make with two light movers, two lights, over 48 plants. Those are 8 foot trays and that's 48 plants in a, in a roughly about a 5 by 8 foot area. The hyperponic system for indoors consists of 48 plant garden. Then you get two lights either from 200 to 400 watt high pressure sodiums with the solar max bulb up to 2000 watt high pressure sodiums with the solar max bulb. Now you're going to also need two light movers four foot to go across the garden and you'll need two of those. A CO2 system if you're in an enclosed area and the low price is for the 400 watt the high price is with the 1000 watt. 600 watts and 1000 watt are both the same if you want 600 watts we also have those. Now here's what's inside the garden. There's a small pump, there's a water hookup kit where you can take the cap off, put a garden hose onto it, and pump the water out. To the left of that you'll see a little straw and that's to aerate the water. We'll show you that in the next, next slide. Then you get starter blocks with it, pH test kit, accommodating plant food, depending on the size of garden you order, is going to govern the size of the plant food, and a timer. That's the complete heart of the system. Now, here's how it works. The little straw, when the pump is running, is actually squirting back into the reservoir and making aeration in the water. The manifold up above it is splashing water into the reservoir when it's returned back into the reservoir from the trays. This is where we inject the water into the top of the trays to oxygenate the water. When the water runs out of the trays and back into the manifold, it aerates it again. Now you've just aerated your water 10 different places in these little tray systems. We'll show you another garden that we make which is called the Quad Pro and this aerates the water by having water drip through it. There's four plants in four pots in there, four six inch net pots. Now if you have it for a hydroponic system here's the light, the CO2 system and you could use a four foot light mover with this to get maximum thickness and fullness on your growth. You want to get a hedge. The Quad Pro is 23 inches by 20. That's four 6 inch net pots. You can either use a 400 watt high pressure sodium all the way to a 1000 watt high pressure sodium including a CO2 system. The low price is 400, the high price is 1000. 600 and 1000 are both the same price. This is a compact 6. This is one of the smaller little tray gardens that we have and this will house large plants. The roots grow from one end to the other. The compact six is only 24 inches by 20 inches for six large plants. You can either start with a 250 watt with the solar max bulb 
or go to a 400 watt. If you want larger, we also have larger. We include the CO2 system and the low prices with the 250, the high prices with the 400. This is a net harvest two. This is 12 plants, 36 inches by 28 inches. For this, you can use a 400 watt all the way up to a 1,000 watt high pressure sodium system with the solar max bulb. With that, you would use one CO2 system and one light mover. That will give you the maximum growth for that size of system. The low price is with the 400, the high price. This is the Net Harvest 4, four four-foot trays with a nine-gallon reservoir. That's a Net Harvest 4 of 52 inches by 52 inches, 24 plants. You can use this with a 400-watt high-pressure sodium with the Solar Max bulb all the way up to a 1,000-watt high-pressure sodium with a Solar Max bulb. You would use one four-foot light mover and a, plus a CO2 system. The low price there is with the 400 watt, the high price is up with the 1000 or the 600 watt, they're both the same. This is the Net Harvest 6, four 6 foot trays, 36 plants, 10 gallon reservoir. That's a large system. You'll need two light movers over this system and two lights. You don't need to use large lights, you can get away with smaller lights because they're on movers. The Net Harvest 6 is 52 inches by 76 inches, 36 plants. You can either use two 400 watt high pressure sodiums with the Solar Max bulb or two 1000 watt high pressure sodium with the Solar Max bulbs. You will need two 4 foot light movers to go across the system and give you full thick plant growth with the CO2 system. Now. This is the Net Harvest 8. This is one of the largest systems that we make. 8 foot trays, 48 plants, 2 light movers, 2 lights, 10, 10 gallon reservoir. This will make 3 to 5 pounds. This is what people have told us. With the AquaGrow plant food and the lights and the movers. It was the best system that they've ever seen. It was a total mechanical system. The lights, the moving lights, the plants, everything. This is what the Net Harvest 8 consists of. For a hyperponic system, you either get two 400 watt high pressure sodium or up to 2,000 watt high pressure sodium. You'll need two 400, two four foot light movers and a CO2 system. Now, the low price is for the 400, the high price is for the thousands. 600,000 are both the same. This is what your plant should look like. Those are Taiwan basil. They get little purple tops on them. They're thick and full, and they've been eating the grow and the bloom plant food. We make our own plant food. There's 13 elements in it. We actually make the plant food for the scientists at the South Pole. When they get snowed in, this is what they use. This is, mixes one teaspoon per gallon. It's highly concentrated. There's 13 elements. It'll mix well with any additive that you get. It'll mix with anything. If you enlarge this screen and then put it on pause, you can read all 13 elements and all the different amounts of plant food elements ratio in the plant foods. We have small little half pound bags for $5, little samplers that you can give it a try. Most people give it a try and after that they go to the larger size. You want your plants to produce the best produce that they can make. Now, look at these plants right here. This is what part of the trick is, having a best light. This light looks like it has three light bulbs in it. It doesn't. There's only one light in the light fixture. There are two reflections in that mirrorized reflector. That's to show you where the reflection is coming from. This is what your plant thinks it's seeing. It's seeing three light bulbs, 3,000 watt light bulbs getting brighter and brighter. It thinks there's 3,000 watts of light over it because we're utilizing all the reflection off the back of the bulb. Now, you can't beat this. You don't need a large reflector. You need an efficient reflector. We make metal halide systems. The metal halide system consists of the bulb ballast reflector, and we only use horizontal bulbs because they burn brighter than a universal bulb. It has a full color spectrum. We make it in 250 watt, 400 watt, and 1000 watt. 
We also make this system with a high pressure sodium. With the high pressure sodium we use the Solar Max bulb and that includes bulb, ballast and reflector. For optimum color it has a multi gas vapor in the bulbs. It's a 250 watt, 400, 600 and 1000 watt. We make all of those, any size you can use. The key to this whole thing is the light mover. Light movers duplicate the sun. They peek in on all these little angles. They make the plants grow straight up and down. They grow very thick and full. This is what you need to get to make your plants grow like a hedge. You want a hedge out of your plants. You don't want one tall plant and a bunch of small plants. The features of the solar shuttle is a 30 second end pause on each end which gives you level plant growth. That's what you need. It has two three foot hanging chains to raise and lower your reflector. An extender runs a second light in the same same line. One motor is all that it takes to run two lights with the extender. That's a ball bearing motor for long life. We are the inventors of the moving light. Call the 800 number for any questions or information that you would like to have on the solar shuttle. You can hook it up to most other lights. It doesn't work well with the lights with the big hoses. You don't need that. Light movers come in four foot or six foot with an extender to match the original light mover. Run a second light in a straight line. A mover and an extender can be 12 feet up to 18 feet and run two lights, the 6-foot solar shuttle or the 4-foot solar shuttle and the matching extenders. Both of those are there for you. With this system right here, people have claimed to have grown 3 to 5 pounds under two high-pressure sodium lights using two light movers and getting 3 to 5 pounds with the AquaGrow plant food in 48 plants. The unit uses a CO2 system which we don't have shown and we'll show you right now. The high price is with the 1000 watt systems. This is the CO2 system that we make. We make three different sizes of systems. Depending on your areas, call us up and we'll tell you the square footage that each one covers. We let you punch the holes in the tubing where you need the holes to be so that it doesn't go over windows and doors and everywhere else. It includes the regulator, the solenoid, and the flow meter, all the cords and all the disbursement tubes. Now, this is what your plant should look like, thick and full and dense. This is two Thai basil plants. If you had 48 of these plants, it would be a hedge. They would be the same height, almost from one corner to the other. That's what you want to achieve now. If dollars per pound are a concern to you. If that's the case, you need to call us. You need our help and we'll be happy to help you out. We are Aquaculture or ACI Hydroponics and here's our email address and the 800 number. Hyperponics is a total indoor system giving you maximum growth at lowest cost using lights, movers, CO2 systems, and plant food. Try the half pound bags of Grow and Bloom and you can make your own decisions. You'll see your plants get greener, fuller, thicker. Each of those bags, the two of them make 150 gallons plus five dollars to ship it, a total of fifteen dollars cheap. We make the best lights you can use. Look at our video, you'll see them. So, for cuttings and germination, we'll give you secrets with the purchase of a system. This will give you the most for your money. You will get what you pay for. Here's our email address or the 800 number. We also make a clonator which does 40 plants and it includes the cloning gel with it. Now that will do three to 400 cuttings with the gel. Comment on the video below and let us know what else we need to show on this video. Now here we have the Quad Pro, some extra shots of that to show you how it was working. Here's the extra photos of the Quad Pro 4. This is them when they were three feet high, 36 inches, and then in a couple weeks after that, this is what they look like when they're 54 inches tall. 
and they bushed out. Those are four tomato plants. There are eight chili plants. There's fennel, 